what goes up must come down, even if it's filled with helium. But have you tried to buy party balloons lately? We are in the middle of a helium shortage, and that had a CCO viewer named Heidi, who works in the party planning industry, wanting to know why. Where does helium come from? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. So whose birthday are we celebrating? My son, Caden. How old? He's seven. We've been coming here since me and my brother were very young. Ah, so this is like a family tradition for birthdays. Yes, it is. And this afternoon, Lytton's party value didn't disappoint. Up until this morning. It was nice to walk into work today and see the memo. They weren't blowing up helium balloons they didn't sell or filling helium tanks for commercial customers. We had a little bit of a pullback on our supply, uh -huh. but we have loyal suppliers that have diverse ways to source helium. If we're in such short supply of helium, why can't we just make more? It's <laughs> it's not that easy. It's not that easy. No, no it's I not. didn't think so. Ryan Deco is president and CEO of Oxygen Service Company. It's one of the most common elements in the universe. It's just not one of the most common elements on the planet Earth. And it's typically found uh, underground in natural gas fields. So when a company draws out natural gas, it can separate the helium and purify it. It's not a cheap process. So we don't just use helium for balloons. No, no, <laughs> no, helium is, is very widely used. I work for an engineering company, and so everything we do is kind of with helium. It's used in MRIs if you go to the doctor. It's called a high pressure leak check. The military uses helium. It's kind of very limited what we can test mm -hmm. because of the shortage. It's probably the third time in the last 10 years that we've run into a helium shortage. Deco says some of the world's helium comes from Qatar, and they're having a hard time getting it out of port. There's also a huge federal helium reserve in Texas that's been drawing down and an Exxon Mobil refinery in Wyoming that's been doing maintenance this summer. We're thinking in October things will start to normalize again. So until then, finding helium balloons. Balloon people are not at the top of the list. Could be tricky. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Caden. Have the browns. I'll tell them and I'll have them watch the news tonight. WCCO 4 News. Heather called around to a dozen party cities. About half had helium. Party City told her that its helium supply issues come and go and it is constantly working to replenish helium at impacted stores.